Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is the final Friday of the Euros and Copa America content in FC24. Today, we end the live cards, and we get the first promo of the Euros that is not a live upgrading promo. The icons, the heroes, all these PTGs, even the Make Your Marks, were all live. Today, we just get a nice team of the tournaments. Kind of a nice summary for the tournament of the Euros and of the Copa America, we will get to see players that have performed well throughout the entire tournament, or at least players that EA have deemed to perform well that deserve special cards and probably haven't had a special card already during the Euros. That might be a stipulation today. It might not be. I'm really curious to see because we do have some leaks that I want to look at today. And I want to look at the market as well because some prices on cards are already dropping with the new season and footies news ahead of us. With the promo today as well, prices have been dropping. So let's get into it today, guys. If you're excited for a promo Friday, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's look over yesterday's content just a bit. I know we talked about the season since it was a late upload yesterday, but there's a couple things that I think I want to go back and revisit just for a quick second. I love the Holland. I think the highlight of the season is definitely the Holland. And some of the cards in there as well, the Rashford, Oberdorf, sure. They all have four playstyle pluses, which is nice. Bon Mati is cool too. But this is definitely the best card, the highlight of the whole season. This card, when we get it at, I don't even know what August date we get this card, but he will be absolutely busted and he'll be a fun card to use for a couple of weeks before we get into FC 25 and before this game is over. But that's kind of the highlight. And of course, it is the big ticket high tier card at the end of all of this. The cards that we get until then, guys, to me, this kind of part of the year just feels like um, it's just not refreshed or resurfaced content or like redone, but it's just kind of like, you know what? All the cards at this stage are cracked, and it's just all about trying new and fun items that they put out with these cracked stats. The closer that we get to 99 for players that haven't had a special card in a while, and I think this footies uh, season pass does that. So I'm excited to use Udogi again, haven't used him in ages. Diania did her Tots SBC, she was amazing. Probably gonna want to use this version as well just to try her out because she was so good. So that's what it's kind of for right sure these cards are going to improve some people's teams but also we're going to continue to get even more players that are of this level through the promos that we're getting sbcs and all of that so i wanted to kind of mention that the one thing that i'm actually not a huge fan of from the season after looking at it now again is this alawaren footies objective i didn't realize i missed it right away it's 30 games with rashford fati and oberdorf so unless you really want an alawaren or you really want the XP. That's kind of what this objective is providing, though. A lot of XP. It's a bit of a grind. And that's the part that I'm not a huge fan of inside of that. But, of course, we looked at that yesterday. That's not even the new news. I do want to look at yesterday's SBCs because there were two. One of which was leaked ahead of time before it was dropped yesterday, as per most SBCs are. And it was the brand new SBC for Mikel Oyarzabal. And I don't get why this card is under voted downvoted on footbin uh because this looks like a really fun card for only fifty thousand coins five star five star with 97 dribbling sure you can see the pace shooting and passing are now a little bit behind the curve and of course he is a live card he's a path to glory so if spain win the euros then he will go to a 96 that's kind of all the boost that he can get so it's not like he has a ton of upgrade potential but he's dirt cheap he's got meta playstyle pluses like press proven in the attack especially after using darwin nunez i've mentioned this a couple of times is very very helpful five star five star with the press proven plus and the quick step with his pace being where it is being pretty solid and i think he's also mostly explosive so he's going to be really really rapid i know some of his dribbling stats aren't like high 90s like the overall rating would suggest but i mean come on when the sbc is coming in here on footbin at literally fifty thousand coins i think it's a good sbc to do i think it's one to go ahead and try to get done with whatever little bit of fodder you get it done with a couple extra duplicates or whatever that is what i would do i didn't even actually look at the requirements for this i just saw it was 50k it's an 86 squad so 86 doubles right we have 86s right now because we have 86 doubles so that would be um the sbc that i would be doing with leftover fodder at the moment just a fun card to try if it doesn't hit for you then i guess you don't do it but i think i like the price there we also had throwback marquee matchups which since we don't have games really scheduled very much anymore because these competitions are dwindling down um you know, throwback marquee matchups is cool just to get a couple of tradable packs or 50k pack there. I do a little bit now miss the um, challenge that SBCs used to be in. Marquee matchups used to be that challenge. It's just something that I just thought of. But 
that's something that hasn't really been the case this year with those sorts of SBCs. Now, there is a part of content yesterday that uh, I thought we were going to see, but we haven't yet. I was looking at this page right here on foot.gg for the live upgrades, hoping to see Luis Diaz and the Colombian Mad Lads that are deserving upgrades. But specifically, this Luis Diaz, he has not gotten a 5-star, five 5-star five boost or a plus 1 to a 98. I'm still confused. I still have not figured it out. Of, as to why they have not given the Argentinians the 5-star, five 5-star, five but they gave it to the English players. I don't understand. Maybe it has to do with overall ratings and I'm missing something, but that's still confusing me at the moment. But they still have not updated the Colombians and Luis Diaz, so hopefully he goes to either 5-5 five five or, honestly, if they went the stat upgrade route on this Luis Diaz, I would not be mad. Sure, he's already got maxed dribble and pace, but a lot of you who did this SBC probably wouldn't mind a plus one to shooting, passing, defense, and physical to make him even more cracked. And that is totally an end game card. So that SBC is looking fantastic. If he goes to a 98, that means if they beat Argentina, he would go to a 99. But a five star, five star for the end game, and especially with the lack of five star, five star cards right now, might actually be a little bit more useful and more meta and set him apart than a plus one overall. Would. So that's one interesting thing that has not happened yet. I mean, the upgrades have been happening so fast throughout all this um, Euro and uh, Copa America competition, but it's not happening as of right now. That'll, those will probably be upgraded, I'm guessing, early in the morning today on Friday. We'll have to see. Now, let's take a look at what is at hand today. It is the team of the tournament cards, guys. Of course, these team of the tournaments, uh, we saw some leaks yesterday. Now, I want to see, is the card design in the game? It is not yet. I keep checking because of the Euro uh, Stars one and the Copa Stars one that was added earlier this last week. But it is not in the game just yet. But with the leaks that we do have, we do have the official car design, which I do want to show you here right now. And guys, the leaks actually kind of started off pretty fire, if I'm being honest. Some big name players have been leaked to start off this promo. And I have kind of high hopes for this promo. I think it actually might be pretty good because actually if you take a step back and think about it, like I mentioned in the intro, this is the first promo of the Euros where the cards are not live, right? We had Path to Glory week one. We had Make Your Mark double weeks there. We had the Greats of the Game cards. And then we had Path to Glory again. It's all live cards for the Euros and for Copa America, which has been over a month now of just live cards, live cards, live cards. It's gotten a little bit old by the end, right? Well, now that ends today and we get to kind of, I guess you could say, congratulate and also use these players that have performed really, really well in the Copa America and the Euro uh, competitions like Messi here and Jude Bellingham. Those are the main two leaked cards. I mean, these cards are going to be mental, of course. Messi has the team of the season. Jude Bellingham has a team of the season. But they are going to be getting, in my opinion, four playstyle plus boosted. Pretty expensive and Pretty insane cards. I mean, is this going to be a 99 Messi? That's the key that we're really going to have to find out today. Does EA do the 99 Messi or are they saving that for like a footies Messi? And we're going to get our answer today. If the Messi that comes out is a 98, then I'm going to guess that uh, that will be uh, Messi telling us that we get another Messi card at the end of the year. If it's a 99 Messi, that will probably be the last Messi card that we get. There's still, you know, two months at the max left of this game. So I can see it being a 98 Messi today. I hope that it's a 99, but we will just have to see if it's a 98 as well. I doubt it would be five star, five star because they don't want to give five star, five star it seems right now. I think they're saving that for footies. So that's the Messi card. And then the Jude Bellingham, I feel like it's less likely that he gets a 99. Is it deserved? You know, you could argue that it could be deserved. What is the rating of his tots? Yeah, see, he's 97 as well. So I'm going to guess Jude is going to be a 98 today as well. Maybe they give him the five-star weak foot. Maybe I, Acrobatic Plus would be deserved for his goal, of course. And everybody remembers the overhead bicycle kick uh, to, to win that game. But I kind of hope that they don't give him Acrobatic Plus as a playstyle plus over his team of the season card. This card's only 1.4 million coins now. But guys, of course, the Messi and the Bellingham today, four playstyle pluses, big boosts. Like, they're going to be expensive. They're going to be pricey. They're going to be tough to find on the market probably wouldn't be surprised if they're extinct and i do have a lot of questions about the pack weight today because um this is not a live card promo as we have mentioned so hopefully the pack weight for jude and for messi is a little bit higher than some of the promos that we've seen recently remember last friday when you know the havertz came on the market and there was literally two cards of havertz on the market for hours 
um, because the cards were so rare. I think that was because EA did not run the tradable lightning rounds last week. Griezmann was very, very rare as well. I hope this week that they actually do run the tradable lightning rounds and that they actually bring some supply to the market because uh, that just helps the hype on a promo Friday 100%. Now, I'm taking a look at a couple of these cards right now and I want to talk about the market in a second. But before we do get to that, we do have a couple more leaks that I want to go over. Firstly, we have ourselves the nicest man in the world of football, so they say, and Golo Conte. This one's going to be very hype today. I'm very excited for this Conte card because he is a player that we watched play in the Euros that were like, he performed well. He hasn't had a special card in a while. And I think this is a great opportunity for us to have a card that really feels like it is a true player who performed well and deserves it, right? And a lot of us would love to use this Conte card. This could be what his card looks like. I mean, what was the last card that Conte had? Was it his, um, man, I remember it like, oh, it was Tots Moments, right? Tots Moments Conte, 94 rated. So, you know, we're looking for four play style pluses here. Hopefully he's 96, maybe 97. I don't know how end game we're going here. A 94 rated, I think would be a little bit unfortunate. Hopefully he's a 95, at least a plus one on this Conte card. But that would be a really, really fun card today, especially with those play style pluses. Like, Intercept plays that plus on Conte. Nothing would get, get past the man. Um, I think he deserves a really good card for how he played in the Euros, and there'll be a lot of hype there. Other players that haven't been leaked yet that I think people would love to see would be Gakpo um, and players that maybe deserve it. I see a list here that um, people are, are tagging some others in, like Musiala, Valverde, Rafinha, Lautaro, Gakpo, Kimmich, and Bruno Fernandez. I think there's a lot of cards that you could, um, you could argue deserve it i think a lot of these cards are deserving it's just really interesting to me you, you're really gonna have to look at and see does the player like rafinha does rafinha get a card because he has the live card right i don't think so does valverde because he had a team of the season it's possible right we just saw you know of course jude conte and messi all have those team of the season cards so i think if if they don't have a path to glory or a make your mark card I think they would get in. It's just a little unfortunate because some of the players that do have make your marks or path to glories, like Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo had an absolutely insane tournament. He was one of the bright spots for Spain, playing really incredible, right? Um, I, I don't think he's going to get a card, though, because he has this version that is still live. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of one thing to look out for uh, today as a part of the promo team as well. I'm sure there's going to be more leaks as we head into the content drop today. Um, and as we take a look at leaks... I am seeing that prices on the market are being impacted because of this. If you take a look at this Griezmann, which I was just searching at him. You saw me when I was first looking up his card. I was searching at like 1.8 million coins because this Griezmann card was all the way down to like 1.7 or 1.8 mil earlier yesterday. I think there was a lot of panic on some specific cards, but especially some of the rare ones. Um, the higher tier metal ones, you saw some big drop-offs because people saw the footies cards that were in the season. They saw the Holland and there was some panic. This bro went all the way to 1.6 before bouncing back to where he is now above 2 million coins. And he is very rare and I totally understand that. But I just think that that had to impact prices yesterday. And I'm just looking at his card to go off of what I'm judging here as a, as a price drop. But I'm seeing stones is under a million coins. He's 970k and he's up 70,000 coins. But there was definitely some market panic yesterday. Look, stones went from 1.06 down to 875. So as you would expect, kind of the shock of the, the footies cards hitting the game. And at the same time, the new card promo coming. Uh, and maybe even some of the FC25 leaks that have been going around. Like the car designs and the cover art and stuff like that that people have been saying is leaked. Some of that could be... Um, a part of the panic as well but i really think it's mostly the footies cards and then probably the leaks for the messi and for the jude that is making a lot of these cards drop and to be honest if the pack weight always the key right if the pack weight for this promo for these cards that come out today is halfway decent i think it actually will continue to hurt the market because these are cards that i hope to have high rateds for playstyle pluses is kind of the guarantee now and if you think back we have a little bit of history here to go off of if you think back to the end of the World Cup in FIFA 23, we had this team of the tournament promo that came after, right? All the other live cards that we had then. And, you know, it was a different time because this promo was in the middle of the year, right? It was in December at the end of the World Cup. So it was a totally different time of the year. Obviously, the ratings are a lot lower. I think at this time of the year, though, you know, we're coming off of a PTG Team 2 where the pack weight 
was not as good. I think EA want this promo to be a nice end to all of the Euros content, which has been solid. It's gone up, it's gone down, but I think the end of the promo needs to end in a bang, and I hope that it does today. So I think good pack weight is a key to the new promo coming out today. So I hope that that uh, holds true, that the pack weight is decent. I've even saving some 86 doubles. I feel like it's worth your while at the moment, unless there's somebody that you really want from Path to Glory or like an emotional team or somebody from your favorite nation that you're still trying to collect. But I've kind of been saving packs. It's been a busy week for me, of course, and I haven't been on the game as much, but i am definitely been saving packs because now it's like, sure, some of these cards are really good, but I'm also like, show me some of the other insane cards that are about to come out. And for some of the players that we were excited to see play during the Euros in Copa America that are now going to get special cards to kind of represent that. So if I remember right around this promo as well, this was a good end to FIFA 23 um, World Cup content. It was a really good end. Uh, not that these cards were crazy packable, but there was just a lot of good meta options like Teo Hernandez, right? This Parasic was a budget beast. He was so good. Four star, five star playing left mid, left wing. I think a lot of people even used him as a midfielder. Of course, you had the Mbappe. Uh, that Messi card was cracked. Oh, the dynamic images with the trophies, that needs to happen this year. That needs to happen. Whoever ends up winning the Euros, we got to have the players, even the PTGs. We love to see them updated with the trophy dynamics. That's just one of those little things that makes such a big difference to the overall vibe for a card and for the game. So I'm really, really looking forward to that as well. Probably after Sunday, though, maybe like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. If they're going to do that, I think it could happen. So, again, watch out for more leaks today. We're going to get those cards confirmed. I'm sure there's going to be leaks before content. And then SBCs as well. I am not doing Wayne, Wayne Rooney. He's going away. I'm not doing Cafu. My club is still pretty full of fodder. And especially after I open some of these saved out packs, I hope they choose a really good SBC player today, right? Last Friday, we had Jota. Portugal got knocked out. Not a great SBC. We had Mascherano. We've had Lissandro Martinez, who's decent, of course, cheap. A lot of our player SBCs have been cheap recently, right? We've had Laporte. We've had Stones, like all around 100,000 coins or less. Hopefully today we get a good team of tournament player SBC that's like actually worth a little bit of a grind. And sure, it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment because it's not a live card anymore. But I'm hoping that there's a good SBC that we can kind of grind towards for a player that's, you know, big name. Like Musiala. Musiala would be a solid one, to be completely honest. Um, he had his team of the season card, but that'd be a fun one that if they gave him like a five star, five star boost, four playstyle pluses, he could be pretty good. That's just a shout. It's not a, not a leak. I have no idea. Watch out for the leaks, though, because usually that gets leaked ahead of content as well. I would expect an objective player today. And I also just hope for a little bit more kind of euros themed content that just kind of wraps it up right it's team of the tournament what other things could ea be doing today that would kind of encompass that right i think we're going to get a new upgrade pack kind of like we do every single friday we get the best of nations pack there's a new 80 plus times three of which i think has different nations that has been added to the code uh what do we have in the old one we have spain france germany england brazil the new one is spain france germany england brazil i don't know why that had to be changed in the code because that's the exact same pack that is in the game at the moment but we'll have to see if anything changes with that or if they put in different nations but hopefully we get those upgrade packs today and then again like i mentioned maybe an evo an evo could be cold uh something related to team of the tournament as well if they do the team of the tournament card design that would be nice i haven't done an evo in a little while if i'm being completely honest but something that could be used in a sense of like hey just celebrate the euros and all the fun that it has been honestly there could be so much fun here with a very banterful sbc ea drop an sbc related to an own goal like <laughs> even if it's just like a simple challenge sbc an own goal sbc would be so freaking hilarious that would be amazing so we will have to see what they actually do with that and what they decide to do and how much fun they decide to have but uh, that's, you know, content today is really kind of up in the air, except for we know we're getting some of these insane cards. I expect the team to be full of pretty high and big name players. We've already got two big names, Jude and Messi, kind of highlighting it. But uh, without them being live cards, and that's what they're be we're being used to this last month, I hope there's some good stuff. So, you know, market-wise today as well, man, it, we keep talking about market in the, in the end game and prices, right? But honestly, guys, it's just... You want to be careful because prices are probably just going to continue to slowly fall, especially as the footies hype gets closer. I really hope that today doesn't disappoint um, because if it does disappoint, then it's going to be like just kind of a slow week into footies. 
But then again, you guys know, I think EA like to have the hype weeks and I think they like to have kind of the lesser hype weeks so that it keeps kind of the, the upward and downward trend moving. Now, prices have dropped a lot, obviously, but they could drop more if the content is good today. If the content's not good today, which I don't know if it's good. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like these icons are still pretty hyped. I like the Path to Glories. They're still pretty hyped as well. I think people would want to use them. It all depends on the SBC player and how available new cards are on the market today. But yeah, I think some of these icons could drop, but it all depends on the packability of the new cards. How well they hit the market too, man. They got to drop tradable lightning rounds because if those cards are extinct or very rare, they're going to be overpriced. And that means people are not going to want to go and get them and they'll just go buy back what they were using before to go play with those cards. So um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it for a promo Friday video. It's kind of a weird one because no longer live. We have only three leaked players so far. And there's a lot of other players that I think we hope to see. Maybe even like um, Demiral, right? Some of the other nations that have had that had strong runs. Arda Guler, like is, is Arda Guler going to get a card? Can, Lamina Yamal, he can't get a card. He's not in the game yet. But like, can Arda Guler technically get a card? Because his item's no longer live, right? The Make Your Mark card. Um, but it's pretty high rated. So that's the sort of stuff that I'm curious about. How much is EA willing to overlap with some of that? I don't think they're going to be willing to overlap with it too much. Of course, since he was an SBC too, I don't know why I'm searching him on the market, but since he was an SBC, I feel like it's even less likely for him to get a new card, um, of course, unless it's in packs. So yeah, guys, really interesting one today. I'm curious to see who's in the team. I'm curious to open some of my packs. I still have some packs saved up from the crafting objective, like the 8420 from that and an 85 times seven. So I'm excited. I'm not going to open any of them today. I'm going to save those. And I will open them next time we do get on stream. I got to finish up my other 86 doubles. And you can see I've got a random bunch of packs here from some Rivals rewards and such. But I guess it'll be a, a decent day to start your Foot Champs games um, and to maybe try out some of these new cards. It hinges around good pack weight and a decent player SBC, in my opinion, 100%. And of course, watch the market because there could be some more fluctuations. But yeah, guys, we'll be back in the setup hopefully tomorrow. Um, you know, apart from any crazy travel issues that we have, we'll be back in the setup tomorrow with a normal YouTube video, the good mic back again, and no more TFA staring up looking at a 55-inch TV. But I'm excited to be back, guys. It's been a good week away or a couple days away. But I will see you guys in that video tomorrow. Enjoy the promo today. I'll be checking it out on Twitter X as it drops, and I'll be posting about it and maybe ripping a pack or two on the companion app. But I'll tweet if I get anything good, guys. Enjoy the promo today, and I'll see you guys soon. It's been Nate Foot Count. Enjoy the video. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you later, guys. I'm out. Peace.